The police, well, he gets hired, he's fired in two days because he's racist, could not um, contain himself. They actually should have known based on his history. Let's put it up for a mass. Hell of a thing, okay? Chaz Foy, an Indiana police officer, was fired after just two days on the job when a pair of racist Facebook posts resurfaced, posted by him. Marion Police Chief Angela Haley found them so offensive that she immediately terminated the cop. Good for her, that's called leadership. In a statement, she says, I do not condone this type of behavior and will not tolerate it, end quote. Both posts were made actually prior to him joining. You see them there. So these posts were made prior to him joining the Marion PD. One post included an image, former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin kneeling on the neck of George Floyd was captured with with getting with gas hitting 489 and climbing. Let's all take a moment to appreciate better times, he said. Another showed a cartoon image of a black man that read Martin Luther King. Okay, now let's keep those up for a minute. Uh, to the chief, I really do appreciate your leadership. I know that you're not in charge of going through the profile of an individual who applies for the job. I know that. But I also know that if you had a policy that required it, this may not have been a hire in the first place. Likely no harm done here. He was only employed for two days, likely not even on the beat yet. But in the future, let this be a reminder. You gotta investigate cops thoroughly, including social media posts when hiring them. Because it could give you a good indication of what they actually believe. Um, Jordan, this is one of those situations where the police chief actually did catch it early. Uh, and the police chief did move in the direction uh, that we all say needs to happen quickly. You fire the person right away. You already know what's about to happen if you keep them on board. So I'm glad that happened. Now, would that have happened if let's say he was there for two years, five years? Don't know, because all of a sudden you have a buddy buddy system. All right, nobody knew this clown. So it was easy for them to let him go. But here's the win. The win is do it in advance, do it in advance. Make sure the investigation requires a thorough assessment of not only your policing background and criminal background and education background, but also your social media background because it is a permeation of your thinking. What say you? Totally agree. I'm, I'm, first of all, I'm surprised this happened just because yeah. it's such a rarity. It but is. I think you, you hit the nail on the head. If this was two, five, 10 years down the line, I can't imagine this would have happened. That's just the way the police unions operate and protect themselves and their own. Right, they they block any investigations, they slow down any accountability, or totally block that altogether. They would all know him and look out for him because maybe in the past he looked out for them. Two days, it's like okay, yeah, who is this yeah. guy? So, right, <laughs> totally agree. Yeah, that it would be, it might be different, but yeah, I I don't see any harm in looking into a potential cop's social media history, just as you would. Uh, in, in many other job applications and, and yeah. job vetting processes. As we've seen time and time again, there are cops who espouse racist beliefs or even linked to white nationalist and white supremacist groups. Look into their social media history. I think it only makes things better. Not that it's gonna completely eradicate any sort of problem of police brutality and, and, and police departments, but it's one step, so take it. There you go, well said. Um, some companies are now actually working with cops to clean up their social media background. Uh, so that's there too, unfortunately.